Greetings to you all and welcome back to Let's Play The Langriser. It's the end of our turn. Let's see what the enemy does. Wait, no it's not. Erwin, you haven't done anything, you lazy sod. Chuck into spell. Alright, very good. That'll teach them for standing near us. Let's see what the enemy can muster. Yes, that's good. Use the civilians you're trying to protect as a meat shield by blocking the doorway with them. I like the way you think, villager sister. Ah, I believe this counts as an ambush. And it's quite a severe ambush, isn't it? It's our old friends, Leon and Laird. This is not good. Laird, he's still a Highlander. Level 8 is a very high level of class. I haven't really mentioned it. But Leon, he's a Knight Master. It's an even higher level of class. He's far outclassing Vargas and Egbert and all those other chaps. So now we're in a spot of bother. Oh yeah, you're scared of him. You're not scared of us. We're slowly grinding down your whole army, but you're not frightened of us at all. Yes, yeah, quite right. Stop trying to command her. Laird, you are clearly a fool. This is a good, good sign of Leon you get to see here. He does genuinely care about the civilians that are under attack here, and he respects us for protecting them when we stand to gain nothing for protecting them. So once again, we get a nice demonstration there of how Leon is a proper, a proper knight of the army. He's doing what he does. He's protecting his people. So that's it's good. I do like having a. I, I don't like to say enemy or villain. But, uh, you know, opposition that is generally concerned about the public. It's just a nice touch. Now, what's the upshot of all of this? Well, we'll have a look as soon as these guys stop healing themselves. Stop it, damn you, you're only going to die anyway. As much as I appreciate the fact that liches are walking towards us, they're so damn slow. Hurry up with your movements. I'm trying to illustrate a point, and you're slowing me down. Don't understand their obsessions with walking on the fence, but whatever makes them happy. Finally, I can demonstrate a point. No, I can't. Shut up, Leon. Yes, lend us a hand. Then we'll kill you by stabbing you in the back. Sharia a little less trusting. Is she right to be less trusting? Maybe I'm a bit too trusting. No, I'm not. Look, he has a green diamond. That means he is on our side. That means he's an NPC, in fact. People have had it up to now. Have you noticed? Good. Glad you're paying attention. This is a Royal Lancer. Look at the stats. Fear. Fear the mighty stats of the Royal Lancer. It is the Advanced Horse class. We've seen advanced forms of everything else now, I think. There is the Advanced Horse unit, the Royal Lancer. Now the Imperials get a royal answer, we get something slightly different. I believe ours are called Dragoons, because we're not of the Imperial Army, so our guys aren't royal. But they have the same stats, near enough, maybe they have a, like one or two points different. Maybe slightly less attack, more defence, I don't know. We'll see them later. But yes, the point is to look at their enormous attack. Now, they're on our side, that's good. When they're not on our side, it's not good. It's really, really not. And if you're thinking, but surely they're worth a lot of experience, and experience is the best thing in the world, then yes, you're right, it is. Good job for keeping up. But no, those guys are such a pain. They really, really are. There's no easy way to take them down, and they will kill a commander in one attack. And they're just normal units, and they have the power to take out commanders like nothing else. Really problematic. 
So I look forward to that. Lots of fun coming up. Okay, this fight's going to kick off next turn. That's good. On the bad side, I do believe that two of the liches are going around this way because they fancy their chances against Leon and Laird. Leon and Laird will kill them instantly because they will go for the commanders because they don't favour experience like I do because they're foolish. I do believe we're about to kill a commander if we keep tossing the spells in, but if we do, we do, and we'll just... Well, we'll take it, because it can only have a couple of units left alive, surely. Oh, we killed something. Good job, Hain. Can't even see what you're shooting at, but you killed it. Yes, this chap here on three, he might go down. Oh, he has a couple of units. Let's try and pick them off first. I don't know what happens if you fire a spell that kills the commander and his units at the same time. I don't know if you get experience for both, or just for the commander. If anyone knows, then, you know, drop a comment, let us know. But that's just one of the things that I'm not sure on. And I don't want to test it, for fear of losing mighty experience. Okay, very good. Quick arrow to the eye, and it makes it fling backwards. It's unlikely these three guys are going to finish the job, but... We'll give it a go, why not? Okay, superb, but the very final shot. The very final two shots, you got the very final two hellhounds. The fireballing spree will end shortly, but not yet. We have a few more targets to take down as we speak. That's probably as good as it's going to get. And no, the commander didn't die. He's left on one point, so we'll be able to pick him up next time, hopefully. Yes, the fight's going slowly, but nah, it doesn't matter, does it? Eh, when you can have a couple, just because they're getting irritating. Once again, we get to see just quite how enormous Erwin's experience bar is now. Roger, you're going to get to see some action? No, you're just going to sit next to Liana so no one can attack her. Good work, man. Nice to know I can rely on you. Uh, I've already moved the flyers. Yes, I have. Over to you, Leon and Laird. What you going to do? We're going to chat. Ooh, interesting. So apparently there's some mighty dragon somewhere that even Leon's having trouble with. Are we likely to fight that later on? Oh, I don't know. That could be some kind of foreshadowing of the plot. Maybe we'll have to protect some villagers from that dragon and prove we're greater than Leon. Or maybe it's just a bit of nonsense text that will never come up again. Place your bets. Villagers have a very fair routine there of swapping out who gets to be at the front and the meat shield. Yes, get involved then, Laird. Now, unfortunately, we can't target Leon and Laird, even though they're technically allies. What I think would have been a nice touch is if you were able to target them, and then if you did attack them, they turned hostile to you. I think that would have been nice, but that's not in the game. You can't physically attack them. You, you can chuck spells at their faces, but it just does no damage, and you can't order your units to attack them. Which is a bit of a shame, because I'd like to stab Leon in the back, as honourable as he is. The man's a pain. Here's where we find out the units. No, they're too scared to attack us. That's a good sign. It probably means that we have a statistic advantage. Now, I'm not sure what type of unit zombies and ogres are. I'll take a punt, though. That zombies are going to be of the soldier stroke footman class, whatever you want to call it. And that ogres, I don't actually have a clue, are probably of the same class. Just more advanced with higher stats. That's my guess. And uh, the zombies are obviously going to be undead, so I could have turned undead at these guys. And you notice I'm still going for turn undeaded. 
But I don't want to send Liana backwards. She moves too slow. And then let's pick off what we can and then hopefully go steal some from Leon and Laird. 20 and 13. Those are very poor stats. Those are stats kind of like a uh, barbarian, really. they got high attack with incredibly low defense. Always the units with the low defense that happen to survive everything. Now, what were their attacks? I didn't quite pick those up. Let's watch again. Little knives, I'm hoping. Kind of hard to make out. Anyway, on we go. Let's see how we fare against some ogres. Oh no, it's just one ogre with ten hit points. Look at that, that's a change, isn't it? Okay, he's incredibly strong. He's also very slow. Hurry up, man. Maybe he has to keep picking the rocks up off the floor. Takes him a while. Okay, the ogres are going to be a pain. I didn't realise their stats were quite so impressive. Still, we'll take down the zombies. First of all, and then we shall work on the ogres, because I expect they'll be worth a lot of experience if they are quite so tough. Come on, Keith, your fairies are useless. That one was even out of the influence. I'm only going to get one attack at this one. It's a shame. It's going to be a bit of a slow fight. And I'm a little frightened to send one of my flying commanders in against an ogre for fear of 10 points of return damage. So I'm just going to keep going with the fairies for now. Hopefully Cherie's fairies are a bit stronger. She does have better stats all around. Yes, they're much better. Okay, just let Cherie do it, Keith. You sit at the back like you used to, you coward. I feel I should apologise for the exceptionally slow attack animation of this chap, but it's not my fault. So I'm not going to apologise, I take it back. It's your own fault for watching the video. Now if you remember the difference between Cherie and Keith, Cherie has much more attack, Keith has much more defence. Which obviously means that Cherie takes a lot of return damage. Whereas Keith takes barely any return damage but can't deal anything at all. Makes Keith worthless. Good on you, Keith. Right, what's happening over this side? Let's see if we can finish anything off over here. Keep going with the fireballs, hey, and there's no reason not to. We can hit absolutely everything anyway. I do find it kind of odd that the main attack force is significantly weaker than the ambush attack force. You notice we've nearly... We nearly won this fight just by fireball spam. Now that's the commander, so let's not fire that fireball in yet. Let's try and take out this chap. You notice there is a commander there who is on one HP. He's a Cerberus, Keboros, whatever. Which means that he's going to die to this fireball. It'd be good experience for Liana. This chap on two may also die to Liana. That would be uh, the fireball, rather. That'd be good experience. I didn't mean that. Does that reach everyone? No. Go up one square. Does that reach everyone? Good enough. Sonya's taken a hell of a beating from these spells. That's good. She'll just sit there and heal for a while, giving us all the time we want. Now we see how many commanders we take down with a single fireball spell. Grrrr. Grrrr. Monster death sounds are significantly better than the normal units. And unfortunately, I did not notice that some of the units were split between the parties. The werewolf up at the top has died and the unit next to Sonya who's died. So, priest or saint, where are we going? What's the difference? Lots of questions need lots of answers coming up in lots of videos. Specifically the next one. Hopefully you'll join me for that and we'll make this change.